Welcome to testingtools.com. Today in this video tutorial, we will learn how to create web services testing script using Oracle application testing suite, which is also called OATS. Here we also have a detailed step-by-step -step instructions as how to create a web service testing script using Oracle application testing suite. Now let's jump into open script and see how we can create an, a web services testing script. Click on file new. In the new project wizard, select web services as the project type and then click on next. In the desired repository, give our name for your script and then click finish. If you see here carefully, we have something called WSDL manager tab. This is the place where we can manage multiple web services that you want to handle in this script. So here we have an option called add, click on add. And then we have to give the visual URL that you want to work with. So uh, in this uh, article, I've given the link that I've been using. It's a publicly available web service link, uh, visual link for the purpose of testing. Now click on next. Open script will parse the visual file and presents you with the list of services it contains. And also in each service, what are the methods available? and in the each method what parameters it takes as input. Now click on finish. Expand here. Let's take an example of get cities by country. Right click on it and click on add to script. So if you see here a step group gets added into the script. If you expand. So this is the XML post data that gets generated. So if you see here we have added get cities by country. And then it has a method called country name. For now, it has been given a dummy data. Let's see how we can change. Double click on XML post data. And then you can see here the method name and the parameter. So click here to change. And then click on OK. That's it. We are ready with the data changed and be able to submit the request and able to see the response that this web service request returns. Click on playback icon of our open script to start the execution. In the results tab, you will have the detailed steps and then the status as passed or failed. So the script execution is completed. We can see the results and the detail span. It has passed. So if you want to see what is the request that actually got submitted you can click on this request okay if you see here it has united states the data we have given okay now if you want to see the response select this url and in the details pane you'll see the list of all cities for united states united states there are different views if you want to explore so now this we have submitted this web service request for single data. If you want to do this for multiple records, we can parameterize this particular script. So how do we do that? We need to add a data bank by going to assets. Click on add, select CSV file, give your design name, click OK. Then now Select the data bank you want to work with and click on open. Here we need to give the column name which represents the multiple rows of data that you want to provide as input. So I'm, I'm giving it as country name and then giving multiple rows of data. Example, I want to run this for United States and India. Click save. Now if you go to the script, and in the tree view, again double click on the XML post data and expand and select the method and the, and the parameter. Click on substitute variable. Now if you see here, it has the data banks that we have created and also the column name that we have given. Select the column name and then click on finish. And click on OK. So it has added some additional code here. If you want, you can go and check in the uh, Java view as well. 
okay now there are two options to actually execute any script one is playback and then other is iterate so as we want to run this for multiple iterations click on iterate and you want this to be run for all records so click on ok and once you click on ok this script gets executed for multiple data that is for united states and india and returns the response based on the input that we have passed okay so if you see here the execution is completed you can click on details and then see there are two iterations and both of them have passed expand the iterations click on request and it says data used is united states see here similarly if you go to the uh, iteration 2 it says data used is india okay now let's see the response select the respect to urls here so for United States, uh, these are the response. And for India, this is the response. Okay. So in this tutorial, we have seen how to create a script and automating the web services. We will have one more video tutorial as how to add a checkpoint to a web services and then see if the required or the expected response has come as expected thank you for watching the video tutorial